This is a quick demo using TMNetSim, a WAN simulator against a Citrix ZenApp session. Up in the top left, I have my established Citrix session prior to introducing the WAN simulator to give you an idea of the mouse delay. And we have our ICA performance counters we'll be using to benchmark our performance. I am on this ICA TCP1, and we'll be looking at these three latency readings as we test. Now we're going to open our, our TM Net Sim app, and there's a few things we'll need to fill in to get it to line up with our Citrix session. Basically, this will act as a proxy between our local Citrix receiver and our Citrix Secure Gateway. So the first thing we need to do is get the IP of our Citrix Secure Gateway. We'll do this by downloading a copy of our ICA file and opening it up with a text editor. We'll scroll down to find the SSL proxy host to find where the ICA file is directing us. Do a name resolution against the CSG host name. We'll plug this IP into the outbound connection IP field of the TM NetSim tool. Since this environment is using SSL proxy, we'll keep our outbound port as 443. Our inbound port will be 442. Here we'll modify our ICA file so that it will connect to the inbound port 442 that the TIA net sim tool will listen on. Of course the CSG is not listening on 442 so we'll create an entry in our host file to point the CSG server to our local machine where it can establish a connection to the proxy. Here we're confirming the CSG server is now resolving to the local loopback address. And now the fun part. We'll go ahead and add 50 milliseconds to both the inbound and outbound policy. We're ready to start our proxy. At this point, if we did a netstat, we'd see port 442 listening on our local machine. The inbound port assignment is completely arbitrary, as you could use any port you wanted as long as you made the same change in your ICA file. Now, in order to bring the WAN simulator into the equation, we disconnect from our existing Citrix session and launch our modified ICA file. Immediately you see the connection information show up in the TN Net Sim tool. With this tool you have the ability to also simulate packet loss and packet jitter. Additional changes require a restart of the proxy. As you can see there's a significant amount of mouse lag at 50 milliseconds. Let's bump it up to 75 milliseconds per side at a total of 150 milliseconds and see how it looks. That took a lot longer to reestablish the connection, and we can see our ICA latency counter start to react to the latency introduced by the WAN simulator. My original thought was to use the server total column to monitor latency values at the server level, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like it totalizes the latency for each session. Oh well. Anyway, TM Net Sim, very handy tool, has definitely found a place in my IT tool chest.